I am a social entrepreneur, so I run a for-profit business that deals with recruitment in the education sector. I'm also a teacher, I'm an educator at Humber College, and I teach um, a course on leadership for two classes and a course on social entrepreneurship for two classes. And I am a doctoral student at the University of Toronto, so I'm doing my PhD right now, um, which is taking a lot of time. Um, but I do love what it is that I'm focusing on, which is um, the development of global competencies for college students. So over 10 years, I worked with a not-for-profit organization, and they dealt with youth wellness and suicide intervention. When you talk to kids and when you kind of listen to their stories, you never really know what's going on until they tell you. And when you actually engage with them and you actually ask the appropriate questions, you realize they do want to talk to you. And they do want to talk to someone about what's going on or what's stressing them out. They want to hear um, another perspective. All they wanted was someone to listen to them. There was a young girl I met and she was, she was a very, very tiny little girl, very sweet, very kind. She was participating in this focus group that we had with um, her class. She would walk home from school every day and there would be these girls that would wait for her and they would walk um, behind her and call her names to the point where they were pushing and shoving her and this would happen every single day. So she actually was not looking forward to going home or the bell ringing at 2.45 for class to be over when all of us are and we all look forward to that point. She was not because she knew that at the other side of that bell were these three girls and that she was being essentially tortured as she was walking home from school until she got to her street. And I had no, like no one had any idea. Right? How would we know? How would her parents know if she wasn't speaking to them? Or how would her siblings know? Like if you're telling me you walk home from school and these, these girls are pushing and shoving you, I, you can't tell me no one has seen that happen. Why hasn't anyone said anything, including her to her parents or to her teacher or to her friends? Um, why hasn't she stood up for herself? But she talked to you. I think it's because I asked. And a lot of times we don't ask the appropriate questions. She did speak out and I'm happy that she did and I was able to provide her with the services that we did have available. I don't know what happened because I, I have to cut off at that point, um, but I do think about it often because I do think about what she became.